Hey, what's up there, YouTube? Section 333 here. Uh, doing another first smoke, actually, in the Sacramento 320 2017 St. Nicholas pipe. So, doing a first smoke in that. And what am I smoking in that? Captain Earl's 10 Russians, which was actually distributed by Cornell and Deal. Alright, so a little 10 Russians. Nice Latakia tobacco. Rumble cake. Crumbled up all nice. Um, I, yeah, I just cut a little bit off. Uh, came at the perfect moisture, actually. Uh, I actually like my tobacco particularly dry. Some guys like them moist, but I actually like them quite dry. Oh, so it's one of my favorite tobaccos. So I figured it'd be a very good first choice for this pipe. I almost went with Frogmorton Cellar, but I said, you know what, just kind of really into tasting the smoke from the Latakia right now. Although Frogmorton has a very nice smoky essence to it. Um, so, smoking some uh, Captain Earl's 10 Russians. Got the little box opening, got the uh, bench-made mini griptilian in there. We're gonna... Got a tobacco haul from pipe and cigar, see? Let's see what's in it. I'm gonna put the box on the floor and I guess I'll just hold everything up. Got my glasses on. You got my Dagner uh, pipe beer koozie, and uh, it's an Angry Orchard. Mm. Yes, it is cold out, and I'm drinking a nice cold fermented beverage. So you get the standard roll of plastic. All right. So I just had some stuff on there. I was just restocking. Um, this is the Conclave of Richmond Pipe Smoker Selection Full Bulk and Reserve Pipe Tobacco. This is a McClellan brand. All right. So that's the first thing we got there. I got one, two of those. All right. I'm just replenishing the cellar a little bit. Um, this is the Contest Blend Pipe Tobacco. Um, another uh, McClellan blend as well. Uh, we've been asked to provide the blend. Uh, uh, it's very dark out here, even with the little bit of lights I have. Hang on. We've been asked to provide the, uh, this blend uh, several times over the years for the slow smoking contest held by pipe clubs. In every instance, contestants have commented on the good taste, pleasant light up, uh, easy draw. Uh, it's a winning blend even for those who didn't come in first or is it last. Because um, I guess if you're trying to smoke a pipe for a long time, you want to be the last guy to... Um, why wait for a contest to enjoy this uh, exceptional pipe tobacco blend of matured and stoned, stoned Virginias with very little touch of Latakia. Uh, it was developed for the long distance pipe smoker, but is enjoyable even in a sprint. So I figured I'd check it out. Couldn't hurt, that's what I said. So could not hurt to try this. Oh, I have a light malfunction here. There we go. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Bottom of the 
There's a big, this was a big hole. We got two tins of Jubileo de Oro. Got two tins of that. That's a Savinelli Latakia blend, um, which I believe is Golden Jubilee in Italian. Um, I also got uh, Nat Sherman's uh, 536 to back by Nat Sherman. Just wanted to check that out. So I got two tins of that too. Um, Let's we'll see how it smokes and see how it sells. Right. Then I replenish some of my uh, trusty old favorite collection. So let's check it out. You know what I always forget to do? I always forget. I mean, I have tons of them, but I always forget to order pipe cleaners. Be, probably because I have a lot of them. Um, but you know, you'd think they could throw them in there, you know, not for nothing. You know, you'd think they could throw them in there. Maybe a book of matches or something. I don't know. Um, so let's see. They got uh, two more tins. Two more tins. Yeah, two more tins of. The Dunhill Durbar mixture. So I got two more tins of that. I really like this stuff. This is uh, probably my favorite Dunhill. Um, there's another favorite of mine too. Another Dunhill that I really like. Um, and that's uh, my mixture, 965. So I got a couple more tins of that too. You know, they're, they're going to stop making the Dunhill blends very shortly. So I wanted to kind of stock up. Because eventually you won't be able to get it at all. Uh, now here's one. I don't know if anyone has tried this, all right, but this one's actually quite good. I'm gonna do a review on this one. So this is John Cotton's Latakia. Um, let me just read the back of this here real quick. Um, traditional English pipe tobacco mixture made of uh, Virginia's Orientals and Latakia on the lens. It's from the Standard Tobacco Company, um, made in the USA by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group, which is also Lane. Um, in the USA um, So traditional English pipe tobacco mixture, so I really wanted to check this out as well um, Got a couple more tins here hang on All right. All right This is the uh, Solent mixture uh, by McBaron this is a big tin of tobacco, and as you see, compared to the smaller stuff, that it's about like half the size, right? Um, and this is a uh, this is actually one of the oldest pipe tobaccos made by McBaron. Actually, it's their English mixture, so it's a Latakia blend that they make as well. Looking forward to trying this out. Um, only to get one tin of that. And I got some others that I've always enjoyed. This is the Dunhill Flake. Comes in a round tin, which is odd because I've always gotten this in square tins. So we'll have to see if there's any difference. I'm sure there is not. Um, cult Conspiracy. Um, somebody was telling me that this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. I can't remember who it was. Uh, and they said, you got to check it out. So it's called Conspiracy, a sweet and smoky aromatic blend of Virginia's Black Cavendish Burley and a hint of something else. Um, I'm thinking that something else might be a Latakia. Um, but somebody said it was very good stuff. So i got to check it out. Yeah. I want to give everybody the jest. Do. A few more tips. This is Dunhill Navy Rolls, so that's a Virginia. Um, you know, it's funny, somebody said to me, he says, 
I didn't know you liked Virginias. And I do. I do like Virginias. I don't like them as much as the Latakias. But depending on the time of year, like the summer and stuff, I'll smoke more Virginias um, than I would over the uh, winter. I find the Latakia is, um, I feel like it makes me warm, which I love. I love that. It's one of the things I like about Latakia is it does make me warm. Um, but Dunhill Navy Rolls is one of the best uh, Virginians out there. A couple more tins, and then we are done, gentlemen. Uh, and these two tins that are last are the same pipe tobacco. Stuff's getting hard to find. This is Suge Pipe Tobacco um, by, and it was Fujin is the uh, blend. Fujin blend by Suge. Now this is made by Drew Estates for Suge Pipes. And um, Suge has made a couple of pipes for um, the Drew Estates team. And as you know, Drew Estates is not going to make pipe tobaccos anymore, including Suge or any of the other Drew Estate blends. Um, so these are going to eventually be tough to find. I have uh, a couple of others. Um, Fujian means wind. I have the, uh, I think the, not the rain, but I want to say the lightning blend, or the one with the golden dragon on it. It's supposed to be very good as well. Um, but this is one of the God series. Um... <clears throat> Just read the tin on the back. Uh, you will be whisked away on the clouds of heavenly Latakia, and especially processed dark fired tobacco, uh, craftfully blended uh, and balanced with premium bright Virginias and exotic Orientals for natural sweetness and aroma. The character and flavor of our exquisite leaf selection come together for a remarkable pipe to tobacco experience. Um, now, this is blended by Drew Estate, Suge, and Daughters in Ryan in North Carolina. Um, And it's made exclusively for Suge, um, Suge pipes, uh, which are some of the best pipes in the world out there. Um, they are some of the better pipes out there, the Suge brand. Um, let me relight this pipe in front of my mouth. I'm not smoking my pipe. So, looking forward to smoking those for sure. Um, you know, I'll, I'll review them all, too. So, yeah, you know, what with certain blends not going to be available anymore, things like that, I did want to stock up on uh, a few things, particularly the Dunhills. I really just went there for the Dunhills, and I said, you know what? I went a little Latakia crazy, of course, so, you know, but what I guess, because um, I've been missing the Latakia, because I ordered, um, I got that Boswell box set, the uh, Boswell sampler, and I smoked some of those, I've been smoking quite a few of those lately, the um, aromatic sampler, so I said, you know, I'm starting to miss my Latakia, you know, it's one of those things where you just literally start to miss it. Uh, you ever do that? Like, you literally miss a blend? Yeah. Like, uh, I was seeing that Bradley on Stuff and Things, um, I was noticing that he was talking about, because he smokes Elizabethan mixture. Um, and uh, eventually that's going to be unavailable. So he's looking for a replacement for the Virginias. Yeah, I mean, Durbar is probably... I would put Durbar in one of my top five by Dunhill. And I'm not going to be able to get it soon. So I'm always looking for things that I can smoke outside of Durbar. Um, and there's so many selections, so many choices. I mean, um, but I do like the way Dunhill blends are crafted let's say. I like the way that they're cut. Um, I like that they they come usually I'd say most of the time they come at almost a perfect moisture. You 
you know, you never get too much of any one thing. I think they just blended very well, the Dunhill. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's my favorite brand or anything like that. Um, but then, you know, as I'm looking around for other Latakia blends and things like that, yeah, I mean, I also love Brebbia Latakia number nine. Love it. Or is it number five? I can't remember. But there's a Brebbia that I absolutely love. But it's hard to find. Yeah. Uh, I definitely wanted to try the uh, Dunhill Jubileo de Oro. Uh, it's a flake, and I'm told that is one of the best you'll ever have. So I said, let's try it. Let's check it out. But I figured, you know what? Let's enjoy the pipe. Get a good smoke out of this for the first time. Remember, the contest will be closing up soon. All right, for the giveaway. All right, so get your comments in on that video. Things like that. And uh, if you're interested in any of those items on the giveaway. And uh, so that'll be closing out at the end of next week. And I don't know if this can be considered a Friday Savinelli. Because it's really Saturday now at like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I got home from work pretty late, but I was kind of wired. So I said, you know what? Let me do a quick video. Talk about... Uh, this beautiful pipe. And I got to tell you something. You know what? Any questions about how this pipe smokes... This is dry as a bone right here. I mean, like I said, I keep my tobacco relatively dry for the most part. I just love the smoke from 10 Russians. It's just oh, it's perfect. like a thickness and creaminess to it almost not quite like uh, quiet nights or even gaslight but similar definitely similar similar almost to meridian Such a creaminess to it. It's thick, billowy smoke. Yeah, it almost tastes like cream. Like, how would you explain it? Like, uh, like a Bailey's in some respect. But excellent smoking pipe. Smokes beautifully well. Um, Yeah, that's why I keep sticking with these Savinelli's. Um, the Jubileo uh, Doro, or Golden Jubilee tobacco. That is the first Savinelli tobacco I've ever purchased. I, I've been buying so many of their pipes, I figured it would be right to check out their... Uh, yeah their uh, tobaccos. I figured it was the right thing to do. So, the price was good. It was on the money, so I said, let me check this stuff out. So, uh, just want to thank everybody for watching. Um, and 2018 is going to be in better year than 2017, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, let's see how things go, you know. And, uh, but, you know, thank everybody for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend, alright? Stay safe.